So now we're going to look at having the circle in the general form. So I'll explain what the general form means now. So we've looked at this form before, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So the example we had, one of the examples we had in the last video was x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 16. So I'm going to multiply all this out. We're going to see what we get, okay? So x minus 3 squared, we're going to get x squared minus 6x plus 9. And then y plus 1 squared, we're going to get y squared plus 2y plus 1 is equal to 16. I'm going to put the x squared and the y squared here. So we're going to have x squared plus y squared. And then I'm going to write minus 6x plus 2y. I'm going to put plus 9 plus 10. Plus, is it plus 9 plus 1 is going to be 10. I'm going to move the 16 over, so it's going to be minus 16 is equal to 0. So our final answer then, x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0. I'm going to put a box around that. And that's called having the circle in the general form. Okay, so in the general form, so in the general form means there are no brackets, no brackets, no numbers before x or y. Okay, so or no numbers before, so I'll say no numbers before it's x squared or y squared, not x or y, my mistake. No numbers before x squared or y squared, so it has to be just x squared, just y squared, no. 2x squared, 2y squared, etc, etc. Um, and as well, we just let all equal to 0. Yeah? And there should be no, as the last one is in, there's no term in x, y. Okay, so we can't have any x and y's multiplied by each other. x and y have to be totally separate. And that's called having it in the general form. So we'll look at exactly kind of the general form down here. It's going to be x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. I'll put a box around that. So that's kind of the, I guess you call it the general form uh, of the circle. And in this case, in this case, g or minus, minus g and minus f, that's the center of the circle. Okay, so whatever numbers are in there, so I'll kind of explain that better now. The center of the circle. And also you can get the radius of the circle by getting the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. Okay, and that's the radius of the circle, the radius. So for example, if we look at this here, we're going to see if we can spot the center and the radius just from looking at the general form. So I'll scroll down a little bit to make some space. So we're going to write x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0. So in this case here, we're going to see that minus 6 is going to be the 2g, because that's the number before the just the x. So actually, I'll just write it all out, x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. So in this case, 2g is equal to minus 6, and g is equal to minus 3. Box around that. In this case, 2f is equal to 2, and that means f is equal to 1, and c is equal to minus 6 here. So if we want to use this information to find the center point, so again, the center is minus g minus f, so that means in this case, it's going to be minus minus 3, and the f is just 1, so minus 1, so that's going to be plus 3 and minus 1, and then the radius is going to be the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c, and that's equal to minus 3 squared plus f is just 1 squared, and then minus c is minus minus 6, so that's going to be plus 6. So we're going to have, that's the square root of 9 plus 1 minus 6, or plus 6, 9 plus 1 plus 6, so that's going to be uh, the square root of 16, if you want to add those all together, root 16, and again, the answer is 4, okay, so if we put all the information, just scroll down a little bit more, put it here over here in yellow, so we have the center then is 3 and minus 1, and the radius is equal to 4, 
radius is equal to 4. Yeah? And if we go back up to the original form we had, like this, with the center as hk, and uh, or squared is equal to 16. If you want to work that out, look back at the last video, you'll find you get the exact same answer. So obviously you should get the same answer, it's the same circle. So as you're showing, you can use either of these forms, it doesn't really matter uh, which one you use. Generally, the general form, so this form here gets used a lot more often. Uh, so you like, basically you have to, no matter which form they give you the equation of the circle in, you have to be able to read everything about it and find the radius and the center of the circle very easily. So it's probably easier to deal with it just in that form there, because you can read straight off H, K, and OR. Uh, a little bit more difficult in the general form, but they do tend to give it in the general form. But yeah, that should be it for the intro to the general form of the circle. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Uh, and we are going to look at, uh, can you tell if a point is inside or outside a circle in the next video? And then we're gonna move on to the harder example. So uh, we'll see you then, next video.